Nevada CDL General Knowledge Test Question 1. What is a hazardous materials placard? Signs put on the outside of a vehicle which identify the hazard class of the cargo. Signs put on the back of a vehicle which identify the hazard class of the cargo. Signs put on the outside of a vehicle which identify the hazard class and weight of the vehicle. Answer Signs put on the outside of a vehicle which identify the hazard class of the cargo. Question 2. To help you stay alert while driving, you should Schedule trips for hours you are normally asleep. Take short breaks before you get drowsy. Take cold medicine, if you have a cold. Answer Take short breaks before you get drowsy. Question 3. While driving, you should use your mirrors to check where the rear of your vehicle is while you make turns, the condition of the tires and cargo. All of these are correct. Answer All of these are correct. Question 4. You must park on the side of a level, straight, two-lane road. Where should you place the reflective triangle? One about 50 feet to the rear of the vehicle, one about 100 feet to the rear, and one about 100 feet to the front of the vehicle. One within 10 feet of the rear of the vehicle, one about 100 feet to the rear, and one about 200 feet to the rear. One within 10 feet of the rear of the vehicle, one about 100 feet to the rear, and one about 100 feet to the front of the vehicle. Answer One within 10 feet of the rear of the vehicle, one about 100 feet to the rear, and one about 100 feet to the front of the vehicle. Question 5. When driving through roadway work zones, you should Watch for sharp pavement drop-offs. Reduce speed only if workers are close to the roadway. Turn on your parking lights. Answer Watch for sharp pavement drop-offs. Question 6. How do you correct rear wheel acceleration skid? Stop accelerating. Counter steer the steering wheel. Apply more power to the wheels. Answer. Stop accelerating. Question 7. Which of these is a danger of crossing railroad tracks on dirt roads? You could get hung up halfway across the tracks. The ground underneath the tracks may not be stable. Your tires could sink into the dirt and not cross the tracks. Answer You could get hung up halfway across the tracks. Question 8. What should you do if a car coming towards you at night keeps its high beams on? Slow down and look straight ahead in your lane. Flash your high beams at the other driver. Look to the right edge of your lane or the right edge of the road. Answer Look to the right edge of your lane or the right edge of the road. Question 9. Truck escape ramps 
are designed to protect vehicles from damage. Cannot be used by certain types of heavy vehicles. Should not be used unless you have first tried all other ways to save your vehicle after brake failure. Answer Are designed to protect vehicles from damage. Question 10. What factors determine your selection of safe speed when going down a long steep downgrade? Total weight of the vehicle, length of the grade, steepness, road conditions, and weather. Condition of the brakes, radio bulletins, and alertness of the driver. Size of vehicle, traffic conditions, curves in the road. Answer Total weight of the vehicle, length of the grade, steepness, road conditions, and weather. Question 11. When a doctor prescribes medication for you and you know you will be driving, you should Take the medication, but stop taking it if you notice it is affecting your driving. Take the medication as well as other medication to keep you alert. Ask the doctor if the medication will affect your ability to drive. Answer Ask the doctor if the medication will affect your ability to drive. Question 12 With the back of, most people lose consciousness. And some die. 0 0.4 0 0.1 0 0.16 Answer 0 0.4 Question 13. There are three types of the vehicle inspections. Which of these is one of them? En route. Post trip and pre trip. All of these answers are correct. Answer. All of these answers are correct. Question 14. The road you are driving on becomes very slippery due to glare ice. Which of these is a good thing to do in such a situation? Stop driving as soon as you can safely do so. Downshift to stop. Apply the brakes often to keep the linings dry. Answer Stop driving as soon as you can safely do so. Question 15. The total weight of the powered unit, the trailer, and the cargo is called Gross combination weight Gross axle weight Gross vehicle weight Answer Gross combination weight Question 16. Which of these statements is true about brakes? Brake fade is not caused by heat. Brake drums cool very quickly when the vehicle is moving very fast. Brakes absorb more heat to stop heavier vehicles. Answer Brakes absorb more heat to stop heavier vehicles. Question 17. The most common cause of serious vehicle skids is Poorly adjusted brakes Overinflated tires Driving too fast for road conditions Answer Driving too fast for road conditions Question 18. 
Which of these is a proper use of vehicle lights and flashers? Flashing your brake lights to warn someone behind you of a hazard that will require slowing down. Flashing your brake lights to warn someone behind you that you are going to stop on the road. All of these are correct. Answer All of these are correct. Question 19. It is important to shift gears correctly to keep the engine oil flowing, control of the vehicle, the engine warm. Answer Control of the vehicle. Question 20. What will help keep an engine cool in hot weather? Driving faster to force more air into the radiator. Running the air conditioner. Making sure the engine has the right amount of oil. Answer Making sure the engine has the right amount of oil. Question 21. Which of the following statements about tank vehicles is true? The term tank vehicle refers only to those vehicles having a permanently attached tank. Special skills are required to haul liquid tanks. All tank vehicles have some sort of bulkhead or a baffle. Answer Special skills are required to haul liquid tanks. Question 22. You do not have a hazardous materials endorsement on your commercial driver's license. You can drive a vehicle hauling hazardous materials when The cargo will be transported less than 100 miles. The vehicle does not require placards. A person who has the hazardous materials endorsement rides with you. Answer The vehicle does not require placards. Question 23. What is a pull-up? A maneuver performed by a tow truck to pick up an overturned truck. Pulling forward while backing a trailer to reposition it. When pulling off the shoulder you pull up until the trailer is straight. Answer Pulling forward while backing a trailer to reposition it. Question 24. A helper should be used to help back your vehicle. Whenever possible. When you need to back on a curved path. When you have a trailer. Answer. Whenever possible. Question 25. Which of these statements is not true? A drinker can control how fast his or her body absorbs and gets rid of alcohol. Back is determined by how fast you drink, how much you drink, and how much you weigh. Alcohol goes directly from the stomach to the bloodstream. Answer A drinker can control how fast his or her body absorbs and gets rid of alcohol. Question 26. Which of these will help keep an engine cool in hot weather? Making sure the engine has the right amount of oil. Both of these answers are correct. Properly adjusted V-belts. Answer. Both of these answers are correct. 
Question 27, to correct a drive wheel braking skid you should Keep your foot off the clutch Counter steer Turn slowly Answer Counter steer Question 28. The purpose of a baffle is to Separate the load Control the load surge To keep expansion of load down Answer Control the load surge Question 29 you are checking your steering and exhaust systems in your pre-trip inspection. Which of these problems should be fixed before the vehicle is driven? Gray smoke from the exhaust pipe. Steering plane more than 10%, 2 inches on a 20-inch wheel. Oil on the tie rod. Answer. Staring plane more than 10%, 2 inches on a 20 inch wheel. Question 30. You are checking your tires for a pre trip inspection. Which of these statements is true? A tread depth of 232 inches safe for the front tires. Radial and bio supply tires can be used together on the same vehicle. Tires of mismatched sizes should not be used on the same vehicle. Answer Tires of mismatched sizes should not be used on the same vehicle. Question 31 If you have been drinking alcohol before you drive, you should Drink coffee Wait for it to wear off. Take a cold shower. Answer Wait for it to wear off. Question 32. Which of these statements is true about vehicle fires? If your engine is on fire, open the hood as soon as you can. If the cargo or box trailer catches on fire, open the doors as soon as you can. A burning tire should be cooled with water. Answer A burning tire should be cooled with water. Question 33. Turn signals should be used. At least 100 feet before turning or changing lanes. At least 250 feet before turning or changing lanes. At least 350 feet before turning or changing lanes. Answer At least 100 feet before turning or changing lanes. Question 34. Name some things you should check on the front of your vehicle during your pre-trip inspection. Windshield wipers, mirrors, and hood latches. Oil, transmission, air compressor, and radiator. Low beams, comma dot high beams, four-way flashers, and turn signals. Answer. Low beams, comma dot high beams, four way flashers, and turn signals. Question 35 Which of these statements about engine overheating is true? You should never remove the radiator cap on a pressurized system until the system has cooled. If your engine overheats within 20 miles of the end of your trip, you should complete the trip and then check the problem. You should never shut off an overheated engine until it cools. 
Answer. You should never remove the radiator cap on a pressurized system until the system has cooled. Question 36. Which of these statements about certain types of cargo is true? Oversized loads can be hauled without special permits during daylight hours. Unstable loads such as hanging meat or livestock require extra caution on curves. When liquids are hauled, the tank should always be loaded completely full. Answer Unstable loads such as hanging meat or livestock require extra caution on curves. Question 37. Which of the following may be a sign of tire failure? A loud hissing noise. Wheels fishtailing. Gentle thumping. Answer. Wheels fishtailing. Question 38. Which of these tell you that cargo contains hazardous materials? A 4-inch, diamond-shaped hazardous materials label on the container. Both of these answers are correct. A hazardous materials placard on the vehicle. Answer Both of these answers are correct. Question 39. When should the pre-trip inspection report from the last driver be reviewed? Once per week. It doesn't have to be reviewed. During your pre-trip inspection. Answer. During your pre-trip inspection. Question 40. No matter how small the cargo is, it should have at least 6 tie-downs 2 tie-downs 1 tie-down Answer 2 tie-downs Question 41 which of these is good thing to remember about drinking alcohol? Alcohol first affects judgment and self-control. Small quantities of alcohol can improve reaction time. The driver can control how quickly the body rids itself of alcohol. Answer Alcohol first affects judgment and self-control. Question 42. Which of these statements is true about vehicle fires? A burning tire should be cooled with water. If the cargo or box trailer catches on fire, open the doors as soon as you can. If your engine is on fire, Open the hood as soon as you can. Answer A burning tire should be cooled with water. Question 43. A key principle to remember about loading cargo is to keep the load To the front Balanced in the cargo area To the rear Answer Balanced in the cargo area Question 44. Cargo inspections Are needed only if hazardous materials are being hauled. Should be performed as part of your pre-trip inspection, again within the first 50 miles of your trip. Then again after you have driven 3 hours or 150 miles, and after every break you take during driving. Are most often not the responsibilities of the driver.
Answer. Should be performed as part of your pre-trip inspection, again within the first 50 miles of your trip, then again after you have driven 3 hours or 150 miles, and after every break you take during driving. Question 45. Dry bulk tanks and hanging meat. Have low centers of gravity. Earns table loads. Do not require special care. Answer. Earns table loads. Question 46. While driving. You see a small, one-foot square, cardboard box ahead in your lane. You should Steer around it without making a sudden or unsafe move. Hit it with your vehicle to knock it off the road. Break hard to avoid hitting it. Answer Steer around it without making a sudden or unsafe move. Question 47. Select the proper collision procedures that are required for any collision that you are involved in, in which you are not seriously injured. Protect the area and notify the authorities. Care for the injured and collect required information. All of these are required. Answer. All of these are required. Question 48. Which of these statements is true about causes of vehicle fires? Poor trailer ventilation can cause flammable cargo to catch on fire. Underinflated tires will not cause a vehicle fire. Carrying a properly charged fire extinguisher will help prevent fires. Answer. Poor trailer ventilation can cause flammable cargo to catch on fire. Question 49. Your vehicle has hydraulic brakes. When traveling on a level road, you press the brake pedal and find that it goes to the floor. Which of these statements is true? Pumping the brake will generate enough pressure to stop the vehicle. Shifting into neutral will help slow the vehicle. The parking brake will not work because it is part of the same hydraulic system. Answer Pumping the brake will generate enough pressure to stop the vehicle. Question 50. Which of these statements is true about other drivers? Mail or delivery truck drivers did not pose a hazard. Short-term or daily rental truck drivers are often not used to the limited vision and pose a hazard. Drivers using turn signals can be trusted to turn in the direction they indicate. Answer Short-term or daily rental truck drivers are often not used to the limited vision and pose a hazard. Question 51. Which of these statements about managing space is true? Smaller vehicles require more space to stop than larger ones. Many accidents are caused by drivers keeping too much space in front of their vehicles. When the road is slippery, you should keep much more space in front of your vehicle. Answer When the road is slippery, you should keep much more space in front of your vehicle. Question 52. High beams should be Used when it is safe and legal to do so. Dimmed at the time that you get within 100 feet of another vehicle. 
turned on when an oncoming driver does not dim his or her lights. Answer Used when it is safe and legal to do so. Question 53. The parking brake should be tested while the vehicle is Moving at highway speed Moving forward slowly Moving back slowly Answer Moving forward slowly Question 54. What are the two main things to look for ahead? Police and way stations Road signs and traffic Traffic and road conditions Answer Traffic and road conditions Question 55 as part of your pre-trip inspection you must Both of these are correct Check for overloads Check for poorly balanced weight Answer Both of these are correct Question 56 what should you do if you see a hazard in the roadway? Stop quickly and pull to the side of the road. Swerve around it and get back into your lane. Use your four-way flashers or brake lights to warn others. Answer Use your four-way flashers or brake lights to warn others. Question 57. When you drive in the mountains, you will have to use lower gears to drive safely down grades. Which of these does not affect your choice of gears? Weight of the load. Tire tread type. Length of the grade. Answer. Tire tread type. Question 58. Why put the starter key in your pocket during the pre-trip inspection? So no one moves the vehicle. So you don't lose it. For your safety. Answer. For your safety. Question 59. Which of these statements is true about vehicle fires? If the cargo or box trailer catches on fire, open the doors as soon as you can. If your engine is on fire, open the hood as soon as you can. A burning tire should be cooled with water. Answer A burning tire should be cooled with water. Question 60. In your mirror you see a car approaching from the rear. The next time you check your mirror you don't see the car. To change lanes you should Ease into the other lane slowly so the other car can get out of the way. Assume the car left the roadway and change lanes as normal. Wait until you are sure the car isn't in your blind spot. Answer Wait until you are sure the car isn't in your blind spot. Question 61 Which of these is a proper use of vehicle lights and flashers? Flashing your brake lights to warn someone behind you of a hazard that will require slowing down. Flashing your brake lights to warn someone behind you that you are going to stop on the road. All of these are correct. Answer All of these are correct. 
Question 62. Medical certificates must be renewed every two years, nine months, four years. Answer. Two years. Question 63. An en route inspection should include checking for Cargo secured properly. Both of these are correct. Tire overheating and brake overheating. Answer. Both of these are correct. Question 64. You must park on the side of a level, straight, four-lane, divided highway. Where should you place the three reflective triangles? One within 10 feet of the front of the vehicle, one about 200 feet from the front, and one about 100 feet to the rear. One within 10 feet of the rear of the vehicle, one about 100 feet to the rear, and one about 200 feet to the rear. One about 10 feet from the rear of the vehicle, one about 100 feet to the rear, and one about 100 feet from the front of the vehicle. Answer One within 10 feet of the rear of the vehicle, one about 100 feet to the rear, and one about 200 feet to the rear. Question 65 you are checking your brakes and suspension system for a pre-trip inspection. Which of these statements is true? Brake pads should not have brake fluid on them. Brake shoes should be at least 1 32nd inch thick. Both of these answers are correct. Answer Both of these answers are correct. Question 66. Which of these statements about using mirrors is true? You should look at a mirror for several seconds at a time. You should check your mirrors twice for a lane change. There are blind spots that your mirrors cannot show you. Answer. There are blind spots that your mirrors cannot show you. Question 67. What does communicating mean in safe driving? Driving brightly colored vehicles. Letting other drivers know you're there to help prevent crashes. Using hand signals. Answer. Letting other drivers know you're there to help prevent crashes. Question 68. What are some things to do at an accident scene to prevent another accident? Try to get your vehicle to the side of the road. If you're stopping to help, park away from the accident. All of these answers are correct. Answer. All of these answers are correct. Question 69. Which of these statements about staying alert to drive is true? Sleep is the only thing that can overcome fatigue. A half-hour break for coffee will do more to keep you alert than a half-hour nap. There are drugs that can overcome fatigue. Answer. Sleep is the only thing that can overcome fatigue. Question 70. Which of these is important to check before driving in the winter? Staring. Exhaust. Tires. Answer. Exhaust. 
Question 71, Containerized Loads Do not need to be inspected or secured by the driver. Are generally used for freight carried part way by rail or ship. Should come with their own tie-down devices. Answer Are generally used for freight carried part way by rail or ship. Question 72. What is the most important reason for doing a vehicle inspection? A vehicle defect found during inspection can save you problems later. Both answers are correct. Federal and state regulations require you to inspect your vehicle. Answer Both answers are correct. Question 73. Trucks and buses are subject to certain laws, restrictions, and regulations. Which of these statements is true? Laws and restrictions can vary from place to place. Federal regulations apply only to trucks and buses driven at least 50 miles on the trip. County and city laws do not apply to trucks and buses engaged in interstate commerce. Answer. Laws and restrictions can vary from place to place. Question 74. What should you do when your vehicle hydroplanes? Accelerate slightly. Release the accelerator. Counter steer hard. Answer. Release the accelerator. Question 75. Which of these statements about overhead clearance is true? The weight of a vehicle changes its height. You should assume posted clearance signs are correct. If the road surface causes your vehicle to tilt toward objects at the edge of the road, you should drive close to the shoulder. Answer. The weight of a vehicle changes its height. Question 76. The amount of liquid to load into a tank depends on The amount of liquid will expand in transit. The legal weight limits. All of these are correct. Answer. All of these are correct. Question 77. How do you test the hydraulic brakes for leaks? Drive 20 miles per hour and slam on the brakes. Drive slowly and pump the brake pedal. Make sure it doesn't hit the floor. Pump the brake pedal three times. Then apply firm pressure to the pedal and hold it for 5 seconds. The pedal should not move. Answer Pump the brake pedal 3 times, then apply firm pressure to the pedal and hold it for 5 seconds. The pedal should not move. Question 78 when a doctor prescribes medication for you and you know you will be driving, you should Take the medication, but stop taking it if you notice it is affecting your driving. Take the medication, as well as other medication to keep you alert. Ask the doctor if the medication will affect your ability to drive. Answer Ask the doctor if the medication will affect your ability to drive. Question 79. Bridge formulas permit. Less maximum axle weight for axles that are close together. 
less maximum axle weight for axles that are far apart. The same maximum axle weight for any axle spacing. Answer Less maximum axle weight for axles that are close together. Question 80. The reaction distance is the distance traveled from the time. The eyes see a hazard to the time the brain knows that it is a hazard. The eyes see a hazard to the time the foot pushes the brake pedal. The brain tells the foot to push the brake pedal to the time the foot actually pushes the pedal. Answer The brain tells the foot to push the brake pedal to the time the foot actually pushes the pedal. Question 81 Can federal inspectors inspect your truck or bus? Number Yes, and they can place it out of service. Yes, but they cannot place it out of service. Answer Yes, and they can place it out of service. Question 82. Your truck has a dual air system and one of the system loses its pressure. What will happen? Either the front or back brake will not be fully operational. The manual slack adjusters of the S-CAM brakes will not be set properly. Brake drums will not be fully pressurized. Answer Either the front or back brake will not be fully operational. Question 83. Which of these things is a good thing to do when steering to avoid a crash? Apply the brakes while turning. Steer with one hand so that you can turn the wheel more quickly. Do not turn any more than needed to clear what is in your way. Answer. Do not turn any more than needed to clear what is in your way. Question 84. Which of the following is not a type of retarder? Hydraulic. Electric. Robotic. Answer. Robotic. Question 85. What is the minimum length for mad flaps? Within 6 inches from the surface of the road. Within 8 inches of the surface of the road. Within 10 inches of the surface of the road. Answer. Within 8 inches of the surface of the road. Question 86. Where or when should you test the stopping action of your service brakes? In the parking lot when the vehicle is not moving. At a special brake testing center only. When the vehicle is moving at about 5 miles per hour. Answer When the vehicle is moving at about 5 miles per hour. Question 87. What effects can wet brakes cause? Brakes can be weak to grab. Brakes to work better. Your foot can get tired. Answer. Brakes can be weak to grab. Question 88. A car suddenly cuts in front of you creating a hazard. What should you not do? Signal and change lanes to avoid the car if possible. Slow down to prevent a crash. 
honk and stay close behind the car. Answer. Honk and stay close behind the car. Question 89. How long does it take a typical tractor trailer to clear a single track? A double track. It takes 10 seconds to clear a single track, and more than 12 seconds to clear a double track. It takes 14 seconds to clear a single track, and more than 15 seconds to clear a double track. It takes 7 seconds to clear a single track, and more than 10 seconds to clear a double track. Answer. It takes 14 seconds to clear a single track, and more than 15 seconds to clear a double track. Question 90. What three things related to cargo are the driver's responsibility? Inspecting the cargo, recognizing overloads, and properly securing the cargo. Inspecting the cargo, hauling the cargo, and securing the cargo. Weighing the cargo, securing the cargo, and delivering the cargo. Answer. Inspecting the cargo, recognizing overloads, and properly securing the cargo. Question 91. Which of these statements is true about brakes? Brakes absorb more heat to stop heavier vehicles. Brake fade is not caused by heat. Brake drums cool very quickly when the vehicle is moving very fast. Answer Brakes absorb more heat to stop heavier vehicles. Question 92. Which of the following should you not do in the event of hydraulic brake failure? Use the parking or emergency brake. Shift up. Pump the brakes. Answer. Shift up. Question 93. Which of these is true about the radiator shutters and the winter front? The winter front should be closed tightly. The engine may overheat if the winter front is left open. You should remove ice from the radiator shutters. Answer You should remove ice from the radiator shutters. Question 94. Which of these statements is true regarding the use of drugs while driving? Use of amphetamines, like speed is allowed as long as you are using the drugs to stay awake. Prescription drugs are allowed as long as the doctor says the drugs will not affect safe driving ability. No prescription or non-prescription drugs are allowed at any time for any reason. Answer. Prescription drugs are allowed as long as the doctor says the drugs will not affect safe driving ability. Question 95. When getting in to start the engine and inspect inside the cab you must. Make sure the parking brake is on and put the gear shift in neutral, or park if automatic. Both of these answers are correct. Start the engine and listen for unusual noises. Answer Both of these answers are correct. Question 96. Which of these is not something you should do if your headlights are not working properly? Clean the headlights. Leave your high beams on. Adjust the headlights. 
Answer. Leave your high beams on. Question 97. As part of your pre-trip inspection you must Check for overloads. Both of these are correct. Check for poorly balanced weight. Answer. Both of these are correct. Question 98. When roads are slippery you should Stop and test the traction while going up hills. Take turns as carefully as possible. Decrease the distance that you look ahead of your vehicle. Answer Take turns as carefully as possible. Question 99. Stab braking Should never be used. Involves releasing the brakes only after the wheels lock up. Involves steady pressure on the brake pedal without locking the wheels. Answer Involves releasing the brakes only after the wheels lock up. Question 100. When a doctor prescribes medication for you and you know you will be driving, you should Take the medication, as well as other medication to keep you alert. Take the medication, but stop taking it if you notice it is affecting your driving. Ask the doctor if the medication will affect your ability to drive. Answer. Ask the doctor if the medication will affect your ability to drive. Question 101. You are driving a truck with a manual transmission. You have to stop the truck on the shoulder while driving on an uphill grade. Which of these is a good rule to follow when putting it back in motion up the grade? Let the vehicle roll straight backwards a few feet before you engage the clutch. Use the parking brake to hold the vehicle until the clutch engages. Keep the clutch slipping while slowly accelerating. Answer Use the parking brake to hold the vehicle until the clutch engages. Question 102. Hydroplaning Is more likely when the tire pressure is low. Only occurs at speeds above 50 miles per hour. Cannot occur when driving through a puddle. Answer Is more likely when the tire pressure is low. Question 103. Which of these statements is not true? Back is determined by how fast you drink, how much you drink, and how much you weigh. Alcohol goes directly from the stomach to the bloodstream. A drinker can control how fast his or her body absorbs and gets rid of alcohol. Answer. A drinker can control how fast his or her body absorbs and gets rid of alcohol. Question 104. Which of these statements about downshifting for a long downhill grade is true? It should not be done with automatic transmission. It allows engine compression and friction to help slow the vehicle. The proper time to downshift is just after the vehicle starts down the hill. Answer It allows engine compression and friction to help slow the vehicle. Question 105. The purpose of a baffle is to 
to keep expansion of load down. Control the load surge. Separate the load. Answer. Control the load surge. Question 106. It takes the body about hours to get rid of the alcohol in four drinks. Four. Two. Six. Answer. Four. Question 107. Which of these statements about managing space is true? When the road is slippery, you should keep much more space in front of your vehicle. Smaller vehicles require more space to stop than larger ones. Many accidents are caused by drivers keeping too much space in front of their vehicles. Answer When the road is slippery, you should keep much more space in front of your vehicle. Question 108 which of the following is true about a vehicle with a high center of gravity? The vehicle is less dangerous on curves. The cargo should be rearranged so that the heaviest parts of the cargo are under the lightest parts. The vehicle is less likely to tip over. Answer the cargo should be rearranged so that the heaviest parts of the cargo are under the lightest parts. Question 109. Which of these statements about speed management is true? On packed snow, you should reduce your speed by about one half. On a wet road, you should reduce your speed by about one third. Both of these answers are true. Answer Both of these answers are true. Question 110. When should you downshift automatic transmissions? When going down grades. When going up grades. When going around curves. Answer. When going down grades. Question 111. Which of these statements is true about bad weather driving conditions? When the temperature drops, bridges will freeze before roadways. Driving conditions become more dangerous as the temperature rises. The road becomes more slippery as rain continues than when the rain began. Answer When the temperature drops, bridges will freeze before roadways. Question 112 Which of the following statements about tank vehicles is true? The term tank vehicle refers only to those vehicles having a permanently attached tank. Special skills are required to haul liquid tanks. All tank vehicles have some sort of bulkhead or a baffle. Answer Special skills are required to haul liquid tanks. Question 113. Which piece of emergency equipment should be in your vehicle? Warning devices for parked vehicles. Circuit breakers. First aid kit. Answer. Warning devices for parked vehicles. Question 114. Why put the starter key in your pocket during the pre-trip inspection? 
so you don't lose it. So no one moves the vehicle. For your safety. Answer. For your safety. Question 115. How can you avoid wet brake problems? Speed up or shift to a higher gear. Apply the brakes harder and faster. Slow down, shift to a low gear gently put on the brakes. Answer. Slow down, shift to a low gear gently put on the brakes. Question 116. When you drive in the mountains, you will have to use lower gears to drive safely down grades. Which of these does not affect your choice of gears? Tire tread type. Length of the grade. Weight of the load. Answer. Tire tread type. Question 117. For an average commercial vehicle being driven at 55 miles per hour on dry pavement it will take about to bring the vehicle to stop. Half the length of a football field, 150 feet. Twice the length of the vehicle. The length of a football field, 300 feet. Answer. The length of a football field, 300 feet. Question 118. Which of these best describes how you should use the brake pedal on a steep downhill grade? Repeated strong pressure, then release. Snubbing. With stronger pressure as the vehicle goes downhill. Answer. Snubbing. Question 119. To correct a drive wheel braking skid you should. Keep your foot off the clutch. Counter steer. Turn slowly. Answer. Counter steer. Question 120. What is the minimum tread depth for tires other than front tires? 3 30 seconds inch. 2 30 seconds inch. 4 30 seconds inch. Answer. 2 30 seconds inch. Question 121. Which of the following does not provide extra gears on some trucks? Automatic transmissions. Auxiliary transmissions. Multi-speed rear axles. Answer. Automatic transmissions. Question 122. If you have a heavy load that is slowing you down on an upgrade you should Drive on the shoulder so that others can pass easily. Exit the roadway until traffic is lighter. Shift into a lower gear. Answer. Shift into a lower gear. Question 123. Dry bulk tanks require special care because The load can shift. Both of these are true. They have a high center of gravity. Answer. Both of these are true. Question 124. 
tie downs must be of proper type and strength. The combined strength of cargo tie downs must be strong enough to lift. One and one half times the weight of the cargo tied down. Twice the weight of the cargo tied down. Three times the weight of the cargo tied down. Answer. One and one half times the weight of the cargo tied down. Question 125. Brake fade. Can be corrected by letting up on the brakes for 1-2 seconds and then reapplying them. Can be caused by the brakes becoming too hot. Only occurs with drum brakes. Answer. Can be caused by the brakes becoming too hot. Question 126. What things should you check during a trip? Check load stability by slightly swerving left to right in your lane. Watch gauges, mirrors, and use your senses to check for problems. Look, listen, and smell. Map, directions, and weather report. Answer Watch gauges, mirrors, and use your senses to check for problems. Look, listen, and smell. Question 127. The total weight of the powered unit, the trailer, and the cargo is called Gross axle weight Gross combination weight Gross vehicle weight Answer Gross combination weight Question 128. Medical certificates must be renewed every Four years Two years Nine months Answer Two years Question 129. How do you correct rear wheel acceleration skid? Stop accelerating. Apply more power to the wheels. Counter steer the steering wheel. Answer Stop accelerating. Question 130. Where or when should you test the stopping action of your service brakes? In the parking lot when the vehicle is not moving. At a special brake testing center only. When the vehicle is moving at about 5 miles per hour. Answer When the vehicle is moving at about 5 miles per hour. Question 131. To avoid rollbacks when you start, you should Partly engage the clutch before you take your right foot off the brake. Engage the clutch very quickly. Stop on a flat area. Answer Partly engage the clutch before you take your right foot off the brake. Question 132. Containerized loads Are generally used for freight carried part way by rail or ship. Should come with their own tie-down devices. Do not need to be inspected or secured by the driver. Answer Are generally used for freight carried part way by rail or ship. Question 133. If you must stop on a hill in a two-way, two-lane road, 
How far back should you place your reflective triangles? Within 100 feet behind the vehicle. Within 500 feet behind the vehicle. Within 250 feet behind the vehicle. Answer. Within 500 feet behind the vehicle. Question 134. You must drive on a slippery road. Which of these is a good thing to do in such a situation? Use a smaller following distance. Apply the brakes during turns. Slow down gradually. Answer. Slow down gradually. Question 135. To help you stay alert while driving, you should Take cold medicine, if you have a cold. Schedule trips for hours you are normally asleep. Take short breaks before you get drowsy. Answer. Take short breaks before you get drowsy. Question 136. You should check the following for looseness, sticking, damage, or improper settings. Both of these answers are correct. Accelerator, brakes, and clutch pedals. Steering wheel and transmission controls. Answer. Both of these answers are correct. Question 137. Which of these statements about speed management is true? You should choose a speed that lets you stop within the distance that you can see ahead. When you double your speed, go twice as fast, it will take twice the distance to stop. Empty trucks always stop in shorter distance than fully loaded ones. Answer You should choose a speed that lets you stop within the distance that you can see ahead. Question 138 which of these is a good thing to remember when crossing or entering traffic with a heavy vehicle? Because heavy vehicles are easy to see, you can count on other drivers to move out of your way or slow down for you. Heavy vehicles need larger gaps in traffic than cars. The best way to cross traffic is to pull the vehicle part way across the road and block one lane while waiting for the other to clear. Answer. Heavy vehicles need larger gaps in traffic than cars. Question 139. Which of these statements is true about backing heavy vehicles? It's safer to back toward the right side of the vehicle. You should avoid backing whenever you can. Helpers should be out of sight and use only spoken signals to communicate with the driver. Answer You should avoid backing whenever you can. Question 140. Which of these is true about hours of service? You must take a break after every two hours of driving. After 1,000 hours of service you will be exempt from certain regulations. You should balance your hours of service with enough sleep to keep you alert. Answer You should balance your hours of service with enough sleep to keep you alert. Question 141 if your vehicle catches fire while you are driving, you should 
Increase your speed to put out the flames. Park where a building or trees shelter your vehicle from the wind. Park in an open area. Answer. Park in an open area. Question 142. Where or when should you test the stopping action of your service brakes? At a special brake testing center only. When the vehicle is moving at about 5 miles per hour. In the parking lot when the vehicle is not moving. Answer. When the vehicle is moving at about 5 miles per hour. Question 143. What are some advantages of going right instead of left around an obstacle? You can avoid a head-on collision. Someone may be passing to the left. Both answers are correct. Answer. Both answers are correct. Question 144. If a straight vehicle, no trailer or articulation, goes into a front wheel skid, it will Slide sideways and spin out. Go straight ahead even if the steering wheel is turned. Go to the right. Answer. Go straight ahead even if the steering wheel is turned. Question 145. Why put the starter key in your pocket during the pre-trip inspection? For your safety. So you don't lose it. So no one moves the vehicle. Answer. For your safety. Question 146. When driving on grades, which of these is the best choice for a safe speed? Follow the vehicle in front of you. If you have a light load, you can go faster than those with a heavy load. Based on your vehicle and its cargo, Select a speed that is safe within the posted limit. Answer Based on your vehicle and its cargo, select a speed that is safe within the posted limit. Question 147 How do you calculate how many seconds of following distance space you have? Wait until the vehicle ahead of you passes a clear landmark, then count off the seconds until you reach the same spot. Wait until the vehicle ahead of you passes a clear landmark, then count off the seconds until you reach the same spot, then multiply your figure by 2. Divide your speed by 4 and add 1 second for every 10 feet of trailer you are hauling. Answer. Wait until the vehicle ahead of you passes a clear landmark, then count off the seconds until you reach the same spot. Question 148. What factors determine your selection of safe speed when going down a long steep downgrade? Condition of the brakes, radio bulletins, and alertness of the driver. Total weight of the vehicle, length of the grade, steepness, road conditions, and weather. Size of vehicle, traffic conditions, curves in the road. Answer Total weight of the vehicle, length of the grade, steepness, road conditions, and weather. Question 149. 
for an average commercial vehicle being driven at 55 miles per hour on dry pavement it will take about to bring the vehicle to stop half the length of a football field 150 feet twice the length of the vehicle the length of a football field 300 feet answer the length of a football field 300 feet question 150 which of these statements is true about medicines used to treat the common cold it should only be used when driving during the daytime it often makes you sleepy thus should not be used while driving it can be used while driving as long as you only take half the regular dose. Answer It often makes you sleepy thus should not be used while driving. Question 151 The oil pressure gauge should come up to normal within how long after stirring the engine? Seconds minutes it does not matter answer seconds question 152 when should the pre-trip inspection report from the last driver be reviewed it doesn't have to be reviewed once per week during your pre-trip inspection. Answer. During your pre-trip inspection. Question 153. You are driving a 40-foot vehicle at 35 miles per hour. The road is dry and visibility is good. What is the least amount of space you should keep in front of your vehicle to be safe? 2 seconds 6 seconds 4 seconds Answer 4 seconds Question 154 If you must stop on a hill in a two-way, two-lane road. How far back should you place your reflective triangles? Within 100 feet behind the vehicle. Within 250 feet behind the vehicle. Within 500 feet behind the vehicle. Answer. Within 500 feet behind the vehicle. Question 155, which of these statements is true about other drivers? Mail or delivery truck drivers did not pose a hazard. Drivers using turn signals can be trusted to turn in the direction they indicate. Short-term or daily rental truck drivers are often not used to the limited vision and pose a hazard. Answer. Short-term or daily rental truck drivers are often not used to the limited vision and pose a hazard. Question 156. If you are driving a long distance, you should Avoid short breaks but keep the window open. Stop often and take short breaks before you feel really drowsy or tired. Take a short break once or twice during the trip when you are feeling tired or drowsy. Answer Stop often and take short breaks before you feel really drowsy or tired. Question 157 When you check the condition of visible parts during your pre-trip inspection, make sure that the are secured against snagging, rubbing or wearing. 
primary and secondary safety cab locks. Airlines and electrical wiring. Frame and cross members. Answer. Airlines and electrical wiring. Question 158. If you have a heavy load that is slowing you down on an upgrade, you should drive on the shoulder so that others can pass easily. Exit the roadway until traffic is lighter. Shift into a lower gear. Answer. Shift into a lower gear. Question 159. To prevent a load from shifting, there should be at least one tie down for every feet of cargo. 15, 7, 10. Answer. 10. Question 160. What is the definition of sleep debt? The amount of sleep you get each day. The money you owe hotels after resting there. The cumulative effect of not getting enough sleep. Answer. The cumulative effect of not getting enough sleep. Question 161. You are driving a truck with a manual transmission. You have to stop the truck on the shoulder while driving on an uphill grade. Which of these is a good rule to follow when putting it back in motion up the grade? Keep the clutch slipping while slowly accelerating. Use the parking brake to hold the vehicle until the clutch engages. Let the vehicle roll straight backwards a few feet before you engage the clutch. Answer Use the parking brake to hold the vehicle until the clutch engages. Question 162 the purpose of retarders is to Help slow the vehicle while driving and reduce brake wear Help prevent skids and reduce brake wear Apply extra braking power to the non-drive axles Answer Help slow the vehicle while driving and reduce brake wear Question 163. One can recognize hazardous materials by looking at the containers. Shape. Color. Label. Answer. Label. Question 164. The commercial driver's handbook suggests several things to do when you pass a vehicle. Which of these is not one of them? Assume the other driver does not see you. At night, turn on your high beams while you pass the vehicle. Lightly tap your horn if needed. Answer Lightly tap your horn if needed. Question 165. If you do not have a CB radio, what is the first thing you should do at an accident scene? Flag down help. Clear the area. Protect the accident scene. Answer. Protect the accident scene. Question 166. Measuring back, blood alcohol concentration, is done by measuring a person's age, 
height body weight answer body weight question 167 which of these is especially true about your tires in hot weather if a tire is too hot to touch you should hose it down with water you should check tire mounting and air pressure before driving. A small amount of air should be let out to keep air pressure steady. Answer You should check tire mounting and air pressure before driving. Question 168 What should the wheel bearing seals be checked for? Color of paint used on cover. Hub oil level and no leaks. Cleanliness. Answer. Hub oil level and no leaks. Question 169. If you are driving a 30-foot vehicle at 55 miles per hour. How many seconds of following distance should you allow? 8 seconds 6 seconds 4 seconds Answer 4 seconds Question 170 You are driving on a two-lane road. An oncoming driver drifts into your lane and is headed straight for you. Which of these is most often the best action to take? Hard braking. Steer to the right. Prepare for impact. Answer. Steer to the right. Question 171. How long does it take a typical tractor trailer to clear a single track? A double track. It takes 10 seconds to clear a single track, and more than 12 seconds to clear a double track. It takes 14 seconds to clear a single track, and more than 15 seconds to clear a double track. It takes 7 seconds to clear a single track and more than 10 seconds to clear a double track. Answer It takes 14 seconds to clear a single track, and more than 15 seconds to clear a double track. Question 172 How do you calculate how many seconds of following distance space you have? Wait until the vehicle ahead of you passes a clear landmark, then count off the seconds until you reach the same spot. Divide your speed by far and add one second for every 10 feet of trailer you are hauling. Wait until the vehicle ahead of you passes a clear landmark, then count off the seconds until you reach the same spot, then multiply your figure by 2. Answer. Wait until the vehicle ahead of you passes a clear landmark, then count off the seconds until you reach the same spot. Question 173. Name two causes of fires. Underinflated tires and duels that touch. Driver smoking and following too close. Tight turns and gravel roads. Answer Underinflated tires and duels that touch. Question 174 The most important reason for being alert to hazards is so. Accident reports will be accurate. Law enforcement personnel can be called. 
you will have time to plan your escape if the hazard becomes an emergency. Answer You will have time to plan your escape if the hazard becomes an emergency. Question 175 What things should you check during a trip? Map, directions, and weather report. Watch gauges, mirrors, and use your senses to check for problems. Look, listen, and smell. Check load stability by slightly swerving left to right in your lane. Answer Watch gauges, mirrors, and use your senses to check for problems. Look, listen, and smell. Question 176 You are driving on a straight, Level highway at 50 miles per hour there are no vehicles in front of you. Suddenly a tire blows out on your vehicle. What should you do first? Stay off the brake until the vehicle slows down on its own. Begin light braking. Begin control door stab braking. Answer Stay off the brake until the vehicle slows down on its own. Question 177. Which of the following statements about backing is true? You should back and turn towards the driver's side whenever possible. Both of the these are true. Backing is always dangerous. Answer. Both of the these are true. Question 178. Which of these statements is true about causes of vehicle fires? Poor trailer ventilation can cause flammable cargo to catch on fire. Underinflated tires will not cause a vehicle fire. Carrying a properly charged fire extinguisher will help prevent fires. Answer Poor trailer ventilation can cause flammable cargo to catch on fire. Question 179 You should schedule your driving. For the hours you are normally awake. Between the hours of 4 a.m. and 6 p.m. Between the hours of 10 a.m. and midnight. Answer For the hours you are normally awake. Question 180 Which of these statements about certain types of cargo is true? When liquids are hauled. The tank should always be loaded completely full. Oversized loads can be hauled without special permits during daylight hours. Unstable loads such as hanging meat or livestock require extra caution on curves. Answer Unstable loads such as hanging meat or livestock require extra caution on curves. Question 181. How do you calculate how many seconds of following distance space you have? Divide your speed by far and add one second for every 10 feet of trailer you are hauling. Wait until the vehicle ahead of you passes a clear landmark, then count off the seconds until you reach the same spot, then multiply your figure by 2. Wait until the vehicle ahead of you passes a clear landmark, then count off the seconds until you reach the same spot. Answer Wait until the vehicle ahead of you passes a clear landmark, then count off the seconds until you reach the same spot. 
Question 182. You are driving a 40-foot vehicle at 50 miles per hour. Driving conditions are ideal. Dry pavement, good visibility. What is the least amount of space that you should keep in front of your vehicle to be safe? 3 seconds. 4 seconds. 5 seconds. Answer. 5 seconds. Question 183. You are driving a vehicle that could safely be driven at 55 miles per hour on an open road, but traffic is now heavy, moving at 35 miles per hour, although the speed limit is 55. The safest speed for your vehicle in this situation is most likely 45 miles per hour, 35 miles per hour. 40 miles per hour. Answer. 35 miles per hour. Question 184. What is the most important reason for doing a vehicle inspection? Both answers are correct. Federal and state regulations require you to inspect your vehicle. A vehicle defect found during inspection can save you problems later. Answer Both answers are correct. Question 185. Some liquid tanks are divided into several smaller tanks by Regulators Baffles Bulkheads. Answer. Bulkheads. Question 186. If a straight vehicle, no trailer or articulation, goes into a front wheel skid, it will go to the right, slide sideways and spin out. Go straight ahead even if the steering wheel is turned. Answer Go straight ahead even if the steering wheel is turned. Question 187 Tank vehicles are used to carry any liquid and are dangerous to drive because Danger of load surge both of these answers are true. High center of gravity. Answer. Both of these answers are true. Question 188. If you must stop on a hill in a two-way, two-lane road, how far back should you place your reflective triangles? Within 500 feet behind the vehicle. Within 100 feet behind the vehicle. Within 250 feet behind the vehicle. Answer. Within 500 feet behind the vehicle. Question 189. Which of these statements about driving in areas with strong winds is true? Winds are a big problem when a truck comes out of tunnels. The lighter your vehicle, the less trouble you will have with the wind. You should drive alongside other vehicles to help break up the wind. Answer Winds are a big problem when a truck comes out of tunnels. Question 190. Dry bulk tanks require special care because The load can shift. They have a high center of gravity. Both of these are true. Answer 
Both of these are true. Question 191. Escape ramps are Used to get out of a burning truck. Used to stop runaway vehicles. For combination vehicles only. Answer Used to stop runaway vehicles. Question 192. Which of these is good thing to remember about drinking alcohol? Small quantities of alcohol can improve reaction time. The driver can control how quickly the body rids itself of alcohol. Alcohol first affects judgment and self-control. Answer Alcohol first affects judgment and self-control. Question 193. Which of these statements about managing space is true? Smaller vehicles require more space to stop than larger ones. When the road is slippery, you should keep much more space in front of your vehicle. Many accidents are caused by drivers keeping too much space in front of their vehicles. Answer When the road is slippery, you should keep much more space in front of your vehicle. Question 194. Which of these is not a proper use of vehicle lights? Flashing your brake lights to stop someone from tailgating. Flashing your brake lights to warn someone behind you that you are slowing down. Turning on your headlights during the days when visibility is reduced. Answer Flashing your brake lights to stop someone from tailgating. Question 195. Which of these statements is true about causes of vehicle fires? Poor trailer ventilation can cause flammable cargo to catch on fire. Carrying a properly charged fire extinguisher will help prevent fires. Underinflated tires will not cause a vehicle fire. Answer. Poor trailer ventilation can cause flammable cargo to catch on fire. Question 196. Which of these statements is true about drugs? Certain prescription drugs are allowed to reduce fatigue. The use of alcohol or drugs can lead to collision and, or arrest. A driver can use any prescription drug while driving. Answer The use of alcohol or drugs can lead to collision and, or arrest. Question 197 Tie downs must be of proper type and strength. The combined strength of cargo tie downs must be strong enough to lift. One and one half times the weight of the cargo tied down. Twice the weight of the cargo tied down. Three times the weight of the cargo tied down. Answer. One and one half times the weight of the cargo tied down. Question 198. What are two ways to know when to shift? Use engine speed, RPM, and road signs. Use your watch and engine sounds. Use engine speed, RPM, and use road speed, miles per hour. Answer Use engine speed, RPM, and use road speed miles per hour.
Question 199, which of these statements about driving in areas with strong winds is true? The lighter your vehicle, the less trouble you will have with the wind. Winds are a big problem when a truck comes out of tunnels. You should drive alongside other vehicles to help break up the wind. Answer Winds are a big problem when a truck comes out of tunnels. Question 200. Which of these statements about tires and hot weather driving is true? If a tire is too hot to touch, you should drive on it to cool it off. You should inspect your tires every 2 hours or every 100 miles when driving in very hot weather. The air pressure of a tire decreases as the temperature of the tire increases. Answer You should inspect your tires every 2 hours or every 100 miles when driving in very hot weather. Question 201. You are checking your tires for a pre-trip inspection. Which of these statements is true? Tires of mismatched sizes should not be used on the same vehicle. Radial and biosupply tires can be used together on the same vehicle. A tread depth of 230 seconds inches safe for the front tires. Answer. Tires of mismatched sizes should not be used on the same vehicle. Question 202. Which of these is a good thing to remember when crossing or entering traffic with a heavy vehicle? The best way to cross traffic is to pull the vehicle part way across the road and block one lane while waiting for the other to clear. Heavy vehicles need larger gaps in traffic than cars. Because heavy vehicles are easy to see, you can count on other drivers to move out of your way or slow down for you. Answer Heavy vehicles need larger gaps in traffic than cars. Question 203. Which of these statements about speed management is true? Empty trucks always stop in shorter distance than fully loaded ones. You should choose a speed that lets you stop within the distance that you can see ahead. When you double your speed, go twice as fast, it will take twice the distance to stop. Answer. You should choose a speed that lets you stop within the distance that you can see ahead. Question 204. Which of these can cause the vehicle to skid? Over acceleration. Not enough weight on the front axle. Both of these answers are correct. Answer. Both of these answers are correct. Question 205. Heavy vehicles must sometimes travel more slowly than other traffic. Which of these is not a good rule to follow when you are driving such a vehicle? Stay to the right. Turn on your flashers if it is legal to do so. Signal other drivers when it is safe for them to pass you. Answer Signal other drivers when it is safe for them to pass you. Question 206 Is it legal to drive with one-fourth of a vehicle's leaf springs broken or missing? It doesn't make any difference as long as you go the speed limit. Number Yes Answer 
Number. Question 207. What is the proper way to hold the steering wheel? Firmly with both hands on opposite sides of the wheel. Firmly with one hand at the top of the wheel and the other hand at the bottom of the wheel. With your right hand on the wheel. Answer. Firmly with both hands on opposite sides of the wheel. Question 208. Cargo covers. Protect people from spilled cargo. May be a safety requirement in some states. Both of the answers. Answer. Both of the answers. Question 209. If you are convicted for driving under the influence while driving a commercial vehicle, and this is your first offense, you will most likely get Probation for a period of one year At least a one-year suspension of your CDL A fine of $500 Answer at least a one-year suspension of your CDL. Question 210. Which of these statements is true about drugs? A driver can use any prescription drug while driving. Certain prescription drugs are allowed to reduce fatigue. The use of alcohol or drugs can lead to collision and, or arrest. Answer. The use of alcohol or drugs can lead to collision and, or arrest. Question 211. Which of these statements is not true about backing a heavy vehicle? You should back slowly until you slightly bump into the dock. You should back and turn toward the driver's side whenever possible. You should use a helper and communicate with hand signals. Answer You should back slowly until you slightly bump into the dock. Question 212 When approaching a traffic light that has been green for a long time, you should Start to slow down so you will be ready to stop. Accelerate so you get through the light. Continue at your current speed. Answer Start to slow down so you will be ready to stop. Question 213 While driving, you should use your mirrors to check. Where the rear of your vehicle is while you make turns. The condition of the tires and cargo. All of these are correct. Answer All of these are correct. Question 214 You are starting your vehicle from a stop. As you apply power to the driver wheels, they start to spin. You should Press harder on the accelerator. Take your foot off the accelerator. Try a lower gear. Answer Take your foot off the accelerator. Question 215. How can you avoid the effects that wet brakes can cause? Both of these answers are correct. Slow down and place the transmission in low gear. Gently put on the brakes and increase engine RPM. Cross the water while keeping light pressure on the brakes. 
Answer. Both of these answers are correct. Question 216. Which of these statements about staying alert to drive is true? A half hour break for coffee will do more to keep you alert than a half hour nap. Sleep is the only thing that can overcome fatigue. There are drugs that can overcome fatigue. Answer Sleep is the only thing that can overcome fatigue. Question 217. You are checking your brakes and suspension system for a pre-trip inspection. Which of these statements is true? Both of these answers are correct. Brake pads should not have brake fluid on them. Brake shoes should be at least one thirty-second inch thick. Answer Both of these answers are correct. Question 218. Prior to driving, what are some of the items you should check the interior of the bus for? School books and student belongings. Both of these answers are correct. Trash and clothing. Answer. Both of these answers are correct. Question 219. What should you do if a car coming towards you at night keeps its high beams on? Slow down and look straight ahead in your lane. Flash your high beams at the other driver. Look to the right edge of your lane or the right edge of the road. Answer Look to the right edge of your lane or the right edge of the road. Question 220 You must drive on a slippery road. Which of these is a good thing to do in such a situation? Slow down gradually. Use a smaller following distance. Apply the brakes during turns. Answer. Slow down gradually. Question 221. In your mirror you see a car approaching from the rear. The next time you check your mirror you don't see the car. To change lanes you should. Ease into the other lane slowly so the other car can get out of the way. Assume the car left the roadway and change lanes as normal. Wait until you are sure the car isn't in your blind spot. Answer Wait until you are sure the car isn't in your blind spot. Question 222 Trucks and buses are subject to certain laws, restrictions and regulations. Which of these statements is true? County and city laws do not apply to trucks and buses engaged in interstate commerce. Federal regulations apply only to trucks and buses driven at least 50 miles on a trip. Laws and restrictions can vary from place to place. Answer. Laws and restrictions can vary from place to place. Question 223. What are two ways to know when to shift? Use engine speed, RPM, and use road speed, miles per hour. Use your watch and engine sounds. Use engine speed, RPM, and road signs. Answer. Use engine speed, RPM, and use road speed, miles per hour.
Question 224. Which of these is a good thing to do when driving at night? Keep your instrument lights bright. Look directly at oncoming headlights only briefly. Drive slowly enough to stop within the range of your headlights. Answer Drive slowly enough to stop within the range of your headlights. Question 225 You should signal continuously while turning because It is illegal to turn off your signal before completing a turn. You need both hands on the wheel to turn safely. Most vehicles have self-canceling signals. Answer It is illegal to turn off your signal before completing a turn. Question 226. Cargo Inspections are needed only if hazardous materials are being hauled. Should be performed as part of your pre-trip inspection, again within the first 50 miles of your trip, then again after you have driven 3 hours or 150 miles, and after every break you take during driving. Are most often not the responsibilities of the driver. Answer should be performed as part of your pre-trip inspection, again within the first 50 miles of your trip, then again after you have driven 3 hours or 150 miles, and after every break you take during driving. Question 227. The reaction distance is the distance traveled from the time. The eyes see a hazard to the time the brain knows that it is a hazard. The eyes see a hazard to the time the foot pushes the brake pedal. The brain tells the foot to push the brake pedal to the time the foot actually pushes the pedal. Answer The brain tells the foot to push the brake pedal to the time the foot actually pushes the pedal. Question 228. Can federal inspectors inspect your truck or bus? Yes, but they cannot place it out of service. Number. Yes, and they can place it out of service. Answer. Yes, and they can place it out of service. Question 229. Cargo that is not loaded or secured properly can cause many problems. Which of these statements is true? Other highway users can hit or be hit by loose cargo. Both answers are correct. Loose cargo can cause injury to the driver or passengers during a quick stop or crash. Answer. Both answers are correct. Question 230. Which of these is true about the radiator shutters and the window front? The window front should be closed tightly. You should remove ice from the radiator shutters. The engine may overheat if the window front is left open. Answer. You should remove ice from the radiator shutters. Question 231. The tendency for long commercial vehicles to swing wide on turns is called Off tracking Fishtailing Hydroplaning Answer. Off tracking. Question 232. Name some suspension system defects. 
leaking shock absorbers. Both of the answers are correct. Broken leaves in leaf spring and cracked or broken spring hanger. Answer Both of the answers are correct. Question 233. Which of these is a good rule to follow when using a fire extinguisher? Stay downwind of the fire. Aim at the base of the fire. Keep as close to the fire as possible. Answer Aim at the base of the fire. Question 234. It is important to shift gears correctly to keep the engine warm, the engine oil flowing, control of the vehicle. Answer Control of the vehicle. Question 235. Which of these is a good thing to do when driving at night? Drive slowly enough to stop within the range of your headlights. Keep your instrument lights bright. Look directly at oncoming headlights only briefly. Answer Drive slowly enough to stop within the range of your headlights. Question 236. Why make emergency plans when you see a hazard? To avoid getting a ticket. In order to protect yourself and others. To have something to do while driving. Answer. In order to protect yourself and others. Question 237. Which of the following cannot be checked at the same time? Brake lights and red reflectors, on rear. Headlights and amber reflectors. Brake light, turn signal and four-way flasher functions. Answer. Brake light, turn signal and four-way flasher functions. Question 238. What is your most valuable way to see the sides and rear? Getting out and inspecting the areas. Checking your mirrors regularly. By looking out the window. Answer. Checking your mirrors regularly. Question 239. Which of these statements about using mirrors is true? There are blind spots that your mirrors cannot show you. You should look at a mirror for several seconds at a time. You should check your mirrors twice for a lane change. Answer. There are blind spots that your mirrors cannot show you. Question 240. Which of these will help keep an engine cool in hot weather? Making sure the engine has the right amount of oil. Both of these answers are correct. Properly adjusted V-belts. Answer. Both of these answers are correct. Question 241. Which of these statements is true about backing heavy vehicles? Helpers should be out of sight and use only spoken signals to communicate with the driver. It's safer to back toward the right side of the vehicle. You should avoid backing whenever you can. 
Answer. You should avoid backing whenever you can. Question 242. Which of these statements is not true about engine belts in hot weather? Loose belts will not turn the water pump and, or fan on properly. Cracking is likely to occur but it is not a safety threat. You can check the tightness of belts by pressing on them. Answer Cracking is likely to occur but it is not a safety threat. Question 243. If you are stopped at a rest area and found to have a back, blood alcohol concentration, of 0 0.02 you will Be placed out of service for 72 hours. Be placed out of service for 48 hours. Be placed out of service for 24 hours. Answer. Be placed out of service for 24 hours. Question 244. If you cannot see well with your headlights when driving in an area with few streetlights on a clear night, you should Use your high beams when legal and keep your interior light off. Turn your interior lights on. Find another route that is better lit. Answer Use your high beams when legal and keep your interior light off. Question 245 Dry bulk tanks and hanging meat have low centers of gravity, are unstable loads, do not require special care. Answer are unstable loads. Question 246. Which of these statements about accelerating is true? Rough acceleration can cause mechanical damage. When traction is poor, more power should be applied to the accelerator. You should feel a jerking motion if you are accelerating your vehicle properly. Answer Rough acceleration can cause mechanical damage. Question 247, Bridge Formulize Permit Less maximum axle weight for axles that are close together. The same maximum axle weight for any axle spacing. Less maximum axle weight for axles that are far apart. Answer Less maximum axle weight for axles that are close together. Question 248. During a pre-trip inspection you discover an exhaust leak or power steering leak, you should Go home because you shouldn't drive the vehicle this way. Note the problem and continue your route. Report the problem and make arrangements for another vehicle to use. Answer Report the problem and make arrangements for another vehicle to use. Question 249 Why put the starter key in your pocket during the pre trip inspection? So no one moves the vehicle for your safety so you don't lose it answer for your safety question 250 when inspecting mirrors and windshields for cracks dirt and illegal stickers or other obstructions to your vision you should 
not worry about any of it. Look in the mirror, to see if you look good. Clean and adjust as necessary. Answer Clean and adjust as necessary. Question 251. When driving at night, use your low beams, when an oncoming vehicle is within. 400 feet 500 feet 300 feet Answer 500 feet Question 252. Trucks and buses are subject to certain laws, restrictions, and regulations. Which of these statements is true? Laws and restrictions can vary from place to place. Federal regulations apply only to trucks and buses driven at least 50 miles on a trip. County and city laws do not apply to trucks and buses engaged in interstate commerce. Answer Laws and restrictions can vary from place to place. Question 253 For an average commercial vehicle being driven at 55 miles per hour on dry pavement, it will take about to bring the vehicle to stop. Half the length of a football field, 150 feet. The length of a football field, 300 feet. Twice the length of the vehicle. Answer the length of a football field, 300 feet. Question 254. The purpose of retarders is to Help prevent skids and reduce brake wear. Help slow the vehicle while driving and reduce brake wear. Apply extra braking power to the non-drive axles. Answer Help slow the vehicle while driving and reduce brake wear. Question 255 What things should you check during a trip? Map, directions, and weather report. Check load stability by slightly swerving left to right in your lane. Watch gauges, mirrors and use your senses to check for problems. Look, listen, and smell. Answer Watch gauges, mirrors, and use your senses to check for problems. Look, listen, and smell. Thank you for watching the video and wish you will get your driver license soon.